Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here, and welcome back to episode number three of the Retrospect series. And in today's episode, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite Super Nintendo games, Donkey Kong Country. Donkey Kong Country was released on November 21st of 1994 by Rare back in the day when Rare actually made good video games and is the first in the Donkey Kong Country series and it is my personal favorite. Uh, Donkey Kong Country 2 was okay for me, wasn't a huge fan of it, and Donkey Kong Country 3 just really just ticked me off. I hate this little baby Donkey Kong running around just trying to just do things. Why don't you just give me regular Donkey Kong? Why go give me some baby Donkey Kong? I don't even know what it is. But I've played Donkey Kong Country Returns, it's decent. Have not played Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, but I have played all the other ones. And so far, this one is my favorite. And so that is the one we're going to be talking about in today's video. And so here we go. Donkey Kong. He's a monkey. Actually, he's an ape. He likes bananas, and so he has this huge horde of bananas in his house. Well, lo and behold, King K. Rule, the bad guy, and all his bad guy Kremlings come up in the house, come up, <laughs> climbing through his windows, snatching his bananas up, and they done took him somewhere else. They gave him all these bunch of bosses and hide him all throughout the kingdom. And Donkey Kong Country Island, it is not really a kingdom. And it's up to Donkey Kong and his nephew Diddy Kong to go and get up their bananas back when they could really just go to like the store and buy some. But they collect a lot of bananas along the way. I don't know. These bananas they stole must have been extra special bananas. But they need to get them back. And so in order to do that, they have to beat all the bad guys and beat King K. Rule. And then they get the huge bananas back and then they live happily ever after until they get more trouble coming on their island from King K. Rule and other bad guys. So in this game, you encounter a multitude of different characters. You have Donkey Kong himself, who the series is pretty much named after. Then you have Diddy Kong, which is his nephew. You have Candy Kong, which is Donkey Kong's supposed girlfriend. Then you have Funky Kong, which I think is his cousin. I don't know. And then you have Cranky Kong, which is supposed to be Donkey Kong's gr grandfather. Yes, grandfather. In which Cranky Kong is actually the original Donkey Kong from the arcade game where Mario is Jumpman. Did you know that? Well, now you do. The more you know. And so that is pretty much all the characters, but you also have animal friends. You have Rambi the Rhino, Expresso the Ostrich, you have Squawks the Parrot, you have Winky the Frog, and you have Engard the Fish. Am I missing anybody? I hope I'm not. No, I actually got them all. And then you have King K. Rool and all the Kremlings and all the other bad guys. You have bad guy vultures, you have a couple bad guy orangutans throwing barrels at you, all kinds of bad guys trying to stop you from getting your bananas back. Now this game has a couple different modes. You can play it single player by yourself, you can play it cooperatively, and then competitive cooperatively. So you can play it by yourself, blah, 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 or you can play with another person where one person controls Donkey Kong, one person controls Diddy Kong, or you can play where you're competitively playing, seeing who can do a level better than the other person. And so most of the levels are left to right side scroller. That's not true for all the levels. Some of the levels, such as the underwater levels, you're going up and down, right to left, all kinds of different directions. And then different characters have different abilities. Donkey Kong is stronger. He can do somersaults. He can slap the ground. Diddy Kong is a little bit more agile. He's not as strong, but he can do cartwheels. So they each have their different perks. A lot of people who like to play the game fast choose Diddy Kong. A lot of people who just really don't care just plays whoever, I guess, Donkey Kong. And they just play the game. And your animal partners, and your animal friends have different abilities as well. Rambi can just pretty much run over anything and run through anything. He can run through walls if there's a secret passage behind it. Expresso the ostrich can kind of fly and glide and float places and then you can jump high with a frog and guard. You can just swim and you can take out bad guys with your little pointy swordfish nose thing. Is it really a nose? I don't know. It's a pointy end on the swordfish. And then with squawks, I think he just flies around and spits out either eggs or nuts. I don't know. And so that's what your animal friends do. And the overall difficulty of this game isn't too bad. And there's kind of a mix between easy levels and hard levels. It starts you off pretty easy, but then some of the later levels can get pretty hard. There's a lot of timed things, such as going through the barrels, barrel blasting. You have to time it out just right. You don't want to run into those stupid bees. And some of the things, some of the levels, you have to time jumps just right. Those stupid rail cart levels, they're like the bane of my Donkey Kong playing existence. Oh yeah, mm. perfect time jump. Oh. Dang it! Not this time. I'm gonna beat it this time. Come on! And if for some unforeseen reason you do happen to get a game over, you are greeted by a screen that has pretty much scarred me from my childhood. The game over screen. And now this doesn't have a any blood or anything on it. It's just Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong with a bunch of bandages just in absolute pain. But for some reason, the combination of them being in pain combined with the sad music, combined with the darkness surrounding them, just really just impacted me in a negative way as a child. Oh man, I love this game. Nothing could ruin this. Oh, wait, no. Is that my last... Is that my last life? No. 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 No!
This is a true story. If I would be playing that game and I would know that I just lost my last life, I would turn off that Super Nintendo before I would see that game over screen. I'm not even kidding because that's how like much that scared me as a kid. It still like freaks me out. Even I'm like, what, 23 years old? The game still freaks me out a little bit. And that's a true story too. But the game over screen really isn't that bad whenever you look at it now. But when you're as a child, you see that you're thinking, oh my gosh, this is terrible. What have I done? But yeah, it was it was pretty traumatic as a child. But overall, the gameplay isn't that hard. There are There is a nice mix of easy levels and hard levels. Now, the graphics of this game are a little bit different than previous games I've talked about so far in the Retrospect series. Mega Man and Legend of Zelda had very clean and just plain graphics. Now, Donkey Kong Country was one of the first games to have kind of pre-rendered 3D graphics. Games like Super Mario RPG also had these as well, um, where it's not just a, just a flat sprite like Super Mario World. Um, this is a flat sprite, a Super Mario World sprite. Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Country is not a flat sprite. He has shading, he's kind of like a shaded color palette, there's shadows, and so they tried to make it look a little bit more 3D and more realistic. And so it's really completely two different kind of art designs, the flat look and then the colored shaded fuzzy sprite look. And so as a result, the shaded looks look a little bit more fuzzy, not as well defined, but they just look more like a natural 3D image. So there's some trade-offs, but they really are two completely different art designs. So it's hard to compare them. It worked very well. It's a very detailed game. The backgrounds look very nice. And it's one of the best looking games, I think, for the Super Nintendo. And now the audio and the music of this game are some of the best around. And y'all know this is coming if you know the Donkey Kong Country series. The Aquatic Ambience soundtrack is literally the best song I've ever heard on a Donkey Kong series. Maybe like on the Super Nintendo in general. That's hard to say because there are some really good songs from the Legend of Zelda series. But in Donkey Kong, like the series of Donkey Kong is definitely by far my favorite. It's just a very relaxed, just very serene, atmospheric song. If you don't know what it is, go on YouTube and search Aquatic Ambience. There's an extended version that's like 30 minutes long. I listened to that whole thing once. It's very relaxing. But it's just a very good song and I couldn't recommend it even more. And they actually thought about cutting that from the actual game either because they didn't have enough time to produce it or they had a hard time actually fitting it into the actual game. But there was actually at one point in time a chance of that song not actually making it into the game. But I'm very glad it did because it turned out to be one of the most popular songs from the Donkey Kong series ever. And so I would definitely suggest you go out and find this game if you don't own it already. You can get it on the eShop for different Nintendo consoles. You can find it on eBay, something. But this is just a very good game. I would definitely recommend it if you are a Super Nintendo fan or a Donkey Kong fan or just a video game fan in general. It's a game full of great graphics, great sounds and soundtracks, a nice mix of easy and hard difficulties with different aspects, with Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong have different abilities, fast compared to being strong, um, different gameplays with the animal uh, the animal friends and then the rail cart levels, just all kinds of different things are mixed into this game to add just different aspects of it to just make it not monotonous. It's not the same thing over and over again. And it's just really fun and I would definitely recommend it if you are into retro games or you just like Donkey Kong and haven't played this game for some reason. And so tell me what your favorite Donkey Kong game is. If you do not like Donkey Kong games, what is your favorite game on the Super Nintendo? And if you have any kind of games you would like to see me cover here in this series, let me know down in the comment section below. And if you did enjoy this video, leave it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos from me and check out all my social links. They're all in the description below. And so I think that's all I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and we'll see you guys in the next one.